Now what are some of the functions of the subcutaneous layer? It plays some very important roles such as connective tissue, which we already mentioned, and it connects the upper layers of skin to the muscle and the bones underneath. Due to the subcutaneous being composed of so much adipose tissue, it also functions as padding, protecting our organs from trauma, as well as contributing to thermal regulation. And this is because it acts as insulation. This is a reason why it's important to pay careful attention to the elderly and infants, because they have less adipose tissue and are more susceptible to the cold. Now think back to when you were a kid and you had the school project of putting an egg in a carton and dropping it. Maybe it was only me who had this project, but bear with me. When you dropped the egg, the carton absorbed the shock and protected the more fragile components inside, right? Well, that's one way the adipose tissue works. It absorbs shock, preventing trauma to the more fragile parts of your body. 